Hey guys, welcome to episode number 5, or stream number 5, of the Tottenham career mode here on FIFA 15. Hopefully today we'll have less of the uh, less of the software issues, although I do have uh, a couple of, I was able to come to a couple of uh, conclusions about it yesterday, uh, after I'd streamed, so uh, once everybody's into the stream, uh, I will obviously uh, explain the situation. So for those of you on YouTube, obviously feel free to skip forward a couple of minutes and uh, I'll probably cover the... Um, I'm going to mention, I'll probably mention it two or three times throughout the course of the video. So if I do mention it before you come back from skipping forward on YouTube, then uh, you will obviously still get to uh, to see what I was on about. But let me quickly go through the normal thing of uh, making sure that all my software is up and running whilst I have gone live, which is what I have to do each and every time. Again, as always, feel free to skip forward. But, uh, hello, Chet. How's it going? How's it? How's it? Hello, how's it? There we go. I'm going to turn it down in my ears because it was quite loud. There we go. There we go. Uh, what else do I need to do? I need to do the stream tip thing. Tips. Username. I just punched the mic. Apologies if that hurt your face. It shouldn't have, actually. I think I punched the uh, the pop filter, not the mic. So I'm probably not going to be streaming for too long today. Because, uh, well, I stayed up for the boxing last night. And uh, today, I feel like shit. So I probably won't be streaming too long. We'll play a few games. Play th probably three games. And uh, see where we are. Maybe play a fourth, but... Uh, you can't view it on mobile. I'm not sure why that is, Master Phillips. Can you hear me? Is it just a black screen, but you've got audio, or are you not getting any audio? Well, me saying you're not going to get any audio, audio isn't actually going to help if you can't get it. Let me type in the chat room. Oh, you can now. Never mind. Just see what you put in the chat underneath it. Maybe it just takes a while for uh, mobile to actually catch up. But did it tweet out? It or oh, it did tweet out good. It tweeted out and my YouTube video went live at the same time. Like the little notification video went live at the same time. So that's good. Hopefully, um, everybody will be in sooner rather than later. And also, hopefully, by say. Tuesday, Wednesday next week we'll be partnered and then more people will be able to watch I'll do a little update video on the YouTube channel when I do get partnered or when it becomes uh, confirmed so that those that watch on YouTube and haven't previously been able to watch live because of poorer internet will be able to do so Oh, shock. Everybody's saying sign Odegaard. <laughs> Already. Still three months away from a transfer window. I'm not going to sign Odegaard. Odegaard is going to be one of the players along with people like Mbolo and uh, Yusuf Poulsen. People that I just avoid on career mode, especially for YouTube. Maybe not so much on Twitch, but on YouTube I'm going to avoid him. Because everyone is going to sign him and everyone's going to want everyone to sign him. And it's not just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't have much money either, actually. I don't think Odegaard is on this save because I started it, obviously, before the update. We'll have a look, shall we? Ode... Yeah, he's not here. He's not here anyway, so it don't matter. I can't find him. So there. We'll have to just deal with that. We'll play these three games today. And then that'll probably be it for today. Like I say, probably going to be a shorter stream. 
we'll get to the the day of the Villa game and then might do a squad report because obviously everybody's overalls will have upgraded because the the update as you go from month to month. So hopefully we can uh, get some decent results. We currently sit fourth in the table, though as you can see we do have a game in hand on Stoke who sit third and Chelsea who are top. So we can go above Stoke, but obviously we uh, can't catch Man United. But United could go top if they win their game in hand by uh, a single point. So it's quite tight. Other than the top two, it's quite tight. From third down to uh, mid-table. Uh, QPR in 13th are only two games away from being third if results went their way. And a couple of teams further down, like Everton and Hull, still have games in hand. At the bottom, Palace do have a game in hand, but they don't look like they're going to be doing very well with that game in hand. So it's very tight in the middle, though, as it always is. Only a few, only a handful of games in, so you know, we're not going to have too many issues with uh, hopefully keeping ourselves inside those Champions League spots. I don't want to be Indian national manager, though. I will put that out there. Sorry, game. But that's not on my to-do list, to be completely honest. Unsettled Dembele may head for the door. That's the first I've heard of it. It's never said anything to me. Not wanting to leave. But what I was going to say, obviously, if you watched yesterday, you'll be aware of the ridiculous software issues that we have, or had. Uh, apparently, it's a well-known thing, and Elgato are actually working on uh, a fix for it but it wasn't just me going mental and all of my software just being a dick for the sake of being a dick it is actually a known problem uh, with the with the Elgato software and they are working on a fix to it. I spoke to um, MGH on Twitter last night and he was saying he has the same problem and he has to when he's in game he streams with more of a delay on his webcam and audio than he does when he's in the menus which is kind of what I'm gonna have to do so uh, when we get into games or at least into the first game, just to test it. What I'm going to have to do is pause it and um, redo the audio sync. And I'm going to have to do that for the first game of every stream, just to make sure that everything is, you know, on point. Because it, there is no other way for me to do that other than to do it live. So unfortunately, you'll have to sit through that if you're watching live. Obviously on YouTube, when we get to that point, then you can skip forward a little bit. But now that I know what the issue is and how to fix it, hopefully it won't take me quite as long and you won't have me sat here for 10 minutes going resume match instant replay resume match instant replay and then waiting for 30 seconds to watch myself back to see if it's synced hopefully should be able to sort it out a lot quicker now that I actually know what the issue is but we will find out you uh, nightbot is not in the stream at the minute but he will be in just a second because I'd forgotten as I always seem to do Should be on his way in. I may actually need to re-log into the site thinking about it. Because it was giving me a uh, a couple of error messages earlier on tonight. I think Nightbot actually is. Uh, oh no, there we go, he's in. The website just wasn't responding. A wild Channy Sports has arrived. What you should do, guys, for Channy, actually... Uh, Chani, you feel free to link it in the chat. Chani's got a straw pour going on right now for uh, his next career mode on his channel between uh, two teams. So if Chani wants to uh, link his straw poll in the chat, if you guys haven't voted on it already, then uh, feel free to head over to uh, to Chani's uh, straw poll and help him out by uh, dropping that a cheeky vote. Personally, I voted for Villarreal, so it's up to you. I think it was Villarreal and AC Milan were the two options on Chani's vote. So uh, if... I hopefully, obviously I'm still working with the delay so you might not have heard me yet by the time I'm watching the chat but uh, feel free to link it in the chat Chani or put in if uh, you're aware of it on Twitter and Chani's left us already then uh, feel free to have a look if not, oh there you go, Chani's just put it into the chat feel free to have a look at that guys and I helped Chani out, obviously a fellow career mode YouTuber, who's still about, th about 3 or 4k bigger than me, isn't it, your channel at the minute, uh, Chani? You're about 64k now, I think, aren't you? I tank, I'm not too sure, actually. 
Let's have a look, shall we? Jenny Sports. Do 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 do. Sixty four and a half. Yeah, you're about about three and a half to four k. Bigger than me. I'll catch you one day. But yeah, I vote for Free L. But anyway, let's jump into a game, shall we? Uh, we have an injured player. Okay, we'll auto replace it just for this game because I always fiddle with my squad before we actually get in. Uh, they can play in their home kit. I don't see any problem with that. Kenneth Belasti is carrying a knock. It's Nasser Chadley that's still out, and he's going to be out for another two months or so, I think. Because obviously he uh, he broke his ankle, which is unfortunate. Uh, Ariel Miller is slightly tired, but we should be alright to play the team as it stands at present. I might actually put Andros Townsend out wide just to help things off to start with, but uh, I think I'm quite happy with the side the way it is at present. I'm going to put Soldado. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Soldado in the starting lineup. I'm sorry, I just don't get on with Harry Kane. I'll leave him on the bench. Maybe I'll bring him on in this one. But, uh,. I don't get on with Harry Kane on FIFA. I really don't. Uh, next FM stream will be tomorrow, Simon. I stream Football Manager during the weekdays and FIFA 15 at the weekend. <clears throat> uh, press the menu button. Right, I think what obviously what I'm going to have to do is uh, pause the game and then readjust the uh, the audio sync. I have to apologise, but uh, until El Gato come out with a patch to fix it, uh, it is a necessity right now. So I'm actually rather than wait for it to re uh, come back on the stream, I'm going to use uh, just bring up my actual software so I can see it in real time rather than having to wait for it to play back. So I'm just going to go, resume match, instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match. And then I can adjust this to about 2,500 there and then about 2,500 here. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, then feel free to skip forward another couple of minutes to where you actually see that I'm playing gameplay. Because uh, unfortunately... I don't have much option at present. Uh, instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match. A little bit more, it's fine. We'll jump from two and a half thousand to three and a half thousand. Do 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 do. Ew! Wada wada. Wada wada. Apply. Okay. Instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match. Now I'm a little bit behind. That's not a problem. Go to 3,100. I, I tried doing this off stream, like off offline, but then when I went live, it knocked the uh, sync, the audio out of sync again. So I have to do this live. I have no other option, unfortunately. I can only apologise for the unprofessionalism of it. Uh, instant replay, resume match. Instant replay, resume match. Instant replay, resume match. There we go. That's pretty much sorted it. There we go. We will continue. Apologies for that. Unavoidable, I'm afraid. But hopefully there will be a fix for it sooner rather than later. And it's, a, it's only really FIFA that has the issue with it, as far as I'm aware. Uh, obviously, I haven't streamed any other games on console, to be honest, so when I do start to stream other games on console, I guess we'll find out whether it's a FIFA thing or a uh, just an El Gato software thing as a whole. But I'm going to try my best to get a decent result here against Southampton, because obviously we want to finish as high up in the league as possible to get Champions League football, and Soldado has got us off to the perfect start. We could not have asked for a better start there. Soldado makes it 1-0 immediately. Lovely turn by Eriksen, and then a good touch by Soldado, and bang, underneath the goalkeeper, into the bottom of the net. I'm not really too sure what Fraser Forster was doing there. Obviously he's a tall bloke, so to actually get down underneath or on top of the ball from that height is quite hard, although he could have gone with his legs there. Ah, 
That's why I play solely over Harry Kane. Soldado scores goals for me. Ooh. And Harry Kane doesn't. That should uh, go back up to the big screen sooner rather than later, hopefully. Come on, never got to software. You can do it. Pay attention, chairs. There we go. It's just gone up. I just seen it out the corner of my eye. And I'm just giving the ball back to Nathaniel Klein. Please don't equalise because I was messing with my software. There we go. Good. Go on, Musa. Apparently he's unhappy, according to that news article, but he's playing well for me so far, and he's on a lovely run here. If Sully can just pull off towards the back post, which he's... he's oh, he went for the extravagant, which is exactly what he's done. He's decent in the air, Soldado, but... I'm not so sure about an overhead kick, to be completely honest. Oh, no. Come back. He... Oh, now they're trying the overhead kicks in the box. Jeeps. It's all going off today. See if Angelus Townsend can attack their back line. They seem to be uh, playing quite a high line and then just dropping off as we get closer. Oh, I couldn't quite reach that. Go on, Sully, keep going. Good lad. Good physical play there from Roberto Soldado. Space for Yannick Balassi as well. Whoop. Cheeky little Ronaldo chop. Try that spin as well. We'll lay it off. It didn't quite work. Gape or gap, eh? Ah, oh, couldn't quite find Solly there either. I thought I was going to squeeze that through. Yes, Dembele. The referee's letting a lot of these physical battles go in this one, which is make a nice, refreshing change of pace, because so many times on career mode, you put in little physical challenges that, like that, or shoulder barges, and the referee will blow up for a free kick. Occasionally, though, you get a decent... Who is the referee? It should tell me at the top of the thing. Oh, it doesn't. It used to, didn't it? When you'd pause it, it used to say well, who the referee was at the top of the... Uh, Let's go on, I think. Oh, that Dembele's done well there. And we squeeze up around the corner. Soldado could be in. Fraser Forster's coming. Ugh, I can't get there. Come Paulinho. We'll come back to Andros Townsend and then try a cheeky fake cross. Oh, Kai Walker, you are well offside, mate. That's annoying. He was onside and then it took forever to play the ball. Never mind. Chance gone. Uh, I'm not an ostrich bro, no. Much as Nigel Pearson would want a few people to be ostriches. Come on, Kyle. Get there, Andros. Uh, sorry, Ryan. Ah, oh, there's one of the physical challenges that has to be given as a foul. Referee had let a few of those go till I mentioned it, and now he started blowing up for him. Davies. I just don't want them to. Oh, I don't know why Kyle Walker's lunged in there. I didn't ask him to. Win that header, Yan. Well done, lad. Nice turn from Christian as well. Oh, so did I get there? He didn't. He didn't. Come on, Stevie, where are you going? Ah, straight to Kyle Walker's where you going. Laid off quickly. Paulinho, you can make me a run, Sully. I'm going to go all the way over there to uh, Yannick Velassi, I think. Oh, that nearly works beautifully. Brilliant tackle from Nathaniel Klein. That was brilliant. Come on, Dembele. Oh, that's a lovely little dink in. If Dusan Tadic could have kept that in. Where's the shades? I haven't got a headache today, so I'm not wearing them. I had a killer of a headache yesterday. Yeah, there is game sound now. Uh, ref, thanks. Nice thing with Odegaard, he's only 16, like that's so young. 
It wasn't it wasn't Ancelotti's choice either to bring him up to the first team to put him on the bench the other night. The board did it. It was the kind of the decision went, was above it went. Uh, the decision came from above his head, which is par for the course, I think, at Real Madrid, or so it seems in recent history, at least. Decisions come from the boardroom and not from the manager a lot of the time. Personally, I'm not too keen on running a football club that way, but some chairman just can't help themselves, like Florentino Perez. Excuse me, Ryan. I'd like the ball back if you don't mind. Oh, they're giving it away. Brakes on. Come on, Christian. I know you're not the fastest. Playing to Yannick Balassi, who's got a lot of good pace. Fake Rabona to get back. Eriksen, a fake turn. Uh, oh, he squeezed it underneath him. He's just done it. He's just squeezed it underneath him. That was decent. That fake shot there then jumped over the challenge and just managed to get onto it there. Keeps come flying at him. That's twice now. We've just squeezed the ball underneath Razor Forster as he's been flying towards us. Tunil. Nice little turn from Christian Eriksen there. I'm pleased with that. Oh, hello. Stephen Davis. No need for that, mate. Getting a bit flamboyant. I was waiting for that from Morgs. I wasn't ready for that from Bertrand, though. Ah, and I shouldn't have dived in there with Kyle Walker. Getting a bit carried away now. Getting a bit loose with my play because we've got a two-goal advantage. Oh, Sully. It wasn't necessarily the best to kick, so I apologise. Oh, that's a nice tackle from Paulinho. Sardara could be in again if we can slot him through. He's not the rapidest, if that makes any sense. Uh, hello, ref. Thank you. And a red card you can see in the top right already. Or top left, sorry. He's going to get sent here, Gardosh. See you, buddy. 2 0 down and down to 10 men. Have I ever got my head stuck in a jar? Um, no. Question mark? Come on, Christian, put this at tops. I meant top of the net, not top of the wall. In mind. I'll have another set piece. Have you played the last two games of your Villa season yet on stream, Kiz? Oh, Rose has overrun that. Oh, it's half time anyway. Have you played him yet? Or have you uh, not had chance? You've been too busy over the weekend. I know you were close to the title, weren't you, at Villa? To be fair, there was a rather important boxing match on last night that had to be prepared for. Oh, you got FM for PC on... Did you get it recently, Billy? Billy plays games. I'm glad you're enjoying it though, bro. So many people have messaged me or come up in the chat or tweeted me, etc., saying that they've, um, you know, bought FM15 because of my streams. And actually, checking via my uh, just referral link stuff on G2A, a lot of people have bought FM on G2A with my referral code as well, which is equally. Uh, in fact, the, the last one, two, three, four of the last nine purchases using my ref either my referral link or my code have been Football Manager on G2A. It's weird, isn't it, how much of an impact you can have just by streaming a video game. I don't even have that large an audience. I'll put Harry Kane on around about the hour mark. Not that he'll do anything for me. 
Lovely ball by Eriksen though into Paulinho. Go on then, why not? Just going to give that a crack. Oh, mm. that was close. Just over the top of the bar. That didn't work. Oh shit. Come back, Nathaniel. Come back, please. No. Who's this guy? Gape or Gape? I don't know who he is. Do any of you guys know? Is he a player they've signed? Is he from their youth system? I don't know what Moussa Dembele is doing there. That was an absolute mess. Strange. <laughs> Winners. Thank you, Hugo. Well, actually, oh, again, it's a poor kick from Lloris. I don't know whether it's my angling of the ball or whether he's just not got that good. A delivery that was not meant for Soldado. Christian Eriksen was making me a great run. Oh, but Dembele will have it, and Eriksen is is going to get there. He's not going to get there. He's going to get there. Play it to De, to Dembele. Go on, son. It's not Dembele. It's Balassi. Try a spin inside. That's worked nicely. And quickly lay it off. Soldado first time shot. Three 0 Game over. Let's bring on Harry Kane. Nice turn. The pass and then Keats was diving one way and Soldado hit it the other. Bush. Dominic Gape. He's 59 rated youth player. Fair enough. Fair play to Southampton for playing youth players. Now they lead by three goals to nil. Everywhere you go. Yes. I was going to bring on Harry Kane, wasn't I? Oh well. Let's do it now. <sighs> Even though Sodaro's on a hat trick, we'll take him off. Sorry, Solly. Good attempted shot. Never know, maybe we can get Soldado a hat trick before he goes off. Is Balassi going to make the run? He is. He's not got the best of stamina, Balassi. That's one thing I've noticed. We'll try that turn. Oh, that was nice. I didn't even intend to do that. Where's Soldado? Oh, that's not Soldado. It's Andros Townsend! And Fraser Forster makes a good save. Oh, Yannick. I didn't even know how I did that skill with Yannick Balassi. Wasn't meant to be that one. He's loving a bit of it. Do I lick windows? Only occasionally. Only if I get excited, the large donor. Palinio, Walker. In what way am I out of sync? Is the game audio ahead of the commentary or is the commentary ahead of the game audio? It'll only be slightly. It will only be slightly. Like if I say I'm going to oh, going to slide now. Oh, I'd have missed anyway, pull a shot. See, that's, we were in sync earlier. Commentary ahead of game. Speak before what happens on the game. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll alter it. 
But it was it was fine at the start of the game, and it isn't now, which is the, th the weird thing. Okay. Okay, let's go to 3-3. Three, three. And then... 3-3. Three, three. Apply. We... And then let me just... Instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match. Hmm. One, two, one, two. I'm even... I'm even more ahead of it now than I was before I altered the delay. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Resume match. Instant replay resume match. Instant replay resume match. Instant replay resume match. See, this is weird. I'm even more ahead, but I'm making... <laughs> Let's go to this then. Insta replay resume match, insta replay resume match, insta replay resume match. No. <laughs> I altered it. I'm, that's the thing, I wasn't going the wrong way, but it was still getting worse. Doesn't make any sense. One, two, one, two, one, two. I've gone like way the other way and it's still... Apologies again. It was synced at the beginning of the game and has somehow managed to unsync itself during the game. Brilliant. One, two, one, two, one, two. better isn't it or at least a lot closer instant replay resume match instant replay resume match instant replay resume match well let's continue so strange that it would just unsync itself in the middle of a game like just over the course of 10 minutes gets more and more unsync I may end up just using a different uh, recording device to stream FIFA. Oh, what on earth has gone on there? Because it's only when I was using my other recording device to stream that I like the lag, ne the audio delay never changed. I could use the same settings every single time and it would be fine. But with this, it just it changes every single stream. Like it's, it's never the same. That's why it's so frustrating to try and sort the settings out. Wasn't meant to do that, but never mind. Is Harry Kane going to eventually arrive? He is, but we're not going to need him because he's only Balassi's here. Ready, Balassi, three. No, what a save by Fraser Forster. That's a decent shot as well. Perhaps needed a bit more bend on it. A bit more of an arc. That's a good corner, though. Kapoor's up. 
Dembele is on his left foot. It's deflected. It's hit the post. Oh, Fraser Forster has hit the bar. What the hell? That was crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm still with I'm still with Arsenal on football manager, bro. We're in the transfer window at present. Whoa, that was close. Danny Rose. Paulinho. Brilliant football from this team. Dembele. Dembele. Come in, Harry. Oh. Wow. Uh, I don't know when match of day is on, bro. Sorry. You'll have to check on, uh, on the TV listings. Oh, Shane Long completely did me there by just not taking the first touch and letting it hit him on the heels. And then taking his first touch. That completely sold me. Pella, oh, it's Jay Rodriguez. Dembele's done well. Come on, Harry, make me run. I told you to. Shame you slow as shit, though, isn't it? Oh, they just ran into each other. Oh, they're throwing it straight to me. Lovely ball by Andres Townsend. We'll get it to Harry Kane, and Kane will miss. How's he missed the target there? It's an open goal. It's an open goal. Yumi at six for a quality band. I like them a lot. Telling me 17 times in the space of a game to sign a youth scout is just not going to work, bro. If you spam the chat, you'll just get timed out. Transfers, squad transfers. Yeah, audio seems to be fine. Play FIFA on iOS? Uh, no thanks. Moussa Dembele. I don't know where all the speculation has come from, to be honest. I haven't spoken to anyone in the press. Of course, it's not always easy to fit in at every club, but I'm working hard to feel more settled. And the guys have been great to me so far. You've been at Spurs for like two years, Dembele. Odegaard is just a, another young prospect, Blackhawk. Just another one, for, another kid for people to be like, sign Odegaard in every comment section of every um, YouTube video ever about career mode. Same with Mbolo and Yusuf Paulson and Yuri Tielemans and Simone Scaffe. Just another name to spam about. 
I do tend to play fringe players in Europe, yeah, especially when you're playing someone like Locomotive Moscow. Kane can play though, because <laughs> I guess technically now he is a fringe player. Play two chairs and Dyer. And Ben Davies. And where are you, Michel? There you are, Michel Vorm. Take Yannick off for. Oh, I would use Tadley, but he's still injured. We'll just continue with Yannick Balassi then. That's who in there for there. Mason for Tempele. Bentleb for Dembele, sorry. Hmm. Could probably do with another wide player in the transfer window. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Just quickly check up on my uh, YouTube emails. Whilst it's loading. Oh, it was just the same guy commenting and replying to 17 different people on the same video at once. Okay. I know we've won the, the Premier League Super but you don't need to tell me 17 times. I'm already aware. Um, it, well, it depends who you've already got at your squad, Blackhawk. Like, if you already have a couple of high-rated players, then I'd say go for the high-potential striker. But if you're missing, like, a marquee or an outright quality world-class number one striker, then go and buy someone else. Starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Actually, bruv, no he hasn't. He's actually been in terrible form for me recently. Missed an open goal in the last game, but never mind, eh? Oh, I think Yedlin was actually going to respond to the ball there. Oh, that didn't quite go as planned. Oh, it's Chorluka in their back line. I didn't realise Choluka was at Locomotive Moscow. He's a former Tottenham player, of course. Choluka. Kane. He wanted to replace Ibra. Nah, bruv. Ibra's, Ibra's quality for like four years. He just His ratings just don't drop. So you'll be fine playing with Ibra for like two or three years at the very least, two or three seasons. If anything, you'd struggle, uh, ref, you'd struggle to sell him more now than you would do in two or three years' time. Uh, ever tried Backer in the game? Carlos Backer always scores against me. Whenever I play against a team with Carlos Backer, whether it's Sevilla or whether he's transferred somewhere else, he always scores against me. Why is Harry Kane on the free kick? Put the Miller on it. I'm going to go for a fancy whipped one. See if we can pull it off. I think I may have put too much on there. Oh, it took a deflection anyway. Never mind. Straight to Guillermo. Here's a cross. Good work from the 
defender then. Uh. He was really challenged by the quality of the ball that he had to deal with. Shit. Yes, and it keep that in. Good lad. If I had to choose a player to replace Ibra, well, you've got Cavani. It depends what formation you want to play. If you want to play two up top, then I'd say buy someone else. But if you're only playing one up top, you know, like a four-two-three-one or whatever, then you've got Cavani already, and he's plenty good enough. So don't say bring up a youth player. I'm going to hit this Ben Davies just because I feel like it. That nearly went in. He nearly backed over the line then. Uh, I play on a uh, world class. Oh, sorry, I can't quite see your name. I'm just glancing at the chat. Uh, the Hun boss, I think it was, that asked that. Oh! By trying to read the chat, I've given away a goal. Good ball. I'm relying on you now, Harry. Tar. About time we got a penalty for a reckless challenge like that. Hope we. Bahui or Sal I don't know who either of those are, I'm afraid. Bahui or Salatros. No idea. I'm afraid. Seventy-eight pens on Harry. Well, apparently, well, he won it as well, so we might as well let him take it. Go on then, put it top left, Harry. Make it one-one. Good lad. That'll do. Audio and video so out of sync. I've not. Okay, hang on. I'll pull. It. Well, I'll try and sort it out at half time. He's doing it on his own because I change the settings and it goes in sync, and then over the course of the next ten to fifteen minutes, unsyncs itself again. Might just get to the point where I just take the face cam off altogether and just use my mic. Wow. 
I don't understand why it just goes out of sync on its own. It's really, really frustrating. Get that Hugo, thank you. Oh, I do use the Elgato, Elgato, but I don't stream with the Elgato, that's the difference. I'm streaming with OBS. Cheers, Spence, I'm glad you enjoy the videos, bro. Anyway, get there. Fakia! Was he onside? Yes, he was. 2 1. You're having some spelling issues, kids. <laughs> Time. Right. Let's try and sort out this, shall we? I think that might have something to do with it, because I turned that off. Might have something to do with it, it might not. What I am going to have to do, though, is rather than do it with the OBS software, I'm going to have to listen to it on the um, why is it playing the music as well? I turn the music off in the settings and it's playing the music again. Oh right, hang on. Instant replay resume match, instant replay resume match. Right, so that is now well off. So it's back to about twelve hundred again. Instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match. I might just have to go back to my old recording device until they patch it. It's so frustrating, I'm sure you can understand. Instant, instant replay, resume match. Instant replay, resume match. Right, so the delay is still too much. Again, instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match. Now I'm in the middle, so let's go about 700. I keep syncing it up and it just keeps going, it keeps, <laughs> it keeps going out of sync whilst we're playing, it goes more and more out of sync.
Instant replay, resume match. Instant replay, resume match. Instant replay, resume match. I have to have some delay on it though, that's the thing, because the, there is a, a delay from the input that I put on the Xbox to when it comes up on the Elgato software. I can't stream directly from the Xbox, I stream the what the Elgato software is receiving and that is slightly delayed from the Xbox screen. So what happens on the Xbox happens a split second later on the Elgato software. So obviously if I react to exactly what's happening on the Xbox, I'm ahead of what's happening on the Elgato software, which is why the which is why the webcam and mic audio need to be delayed to be in time with the Elgato software rather than what's happening on the Xbox screen as I do it. Instant replay, resume match, instant replay, resume match. But it, it just keeps unsyncing itself whilst I'm playing, which baffles me because we sync it up and then it stops working. Right, we'll just go from here and then see if it improves. If not, between now and next week, I'm just going to have to. Uh, reinstall my old recording device and just stream FIFA with that instead. Won't have any other option, I'm afraid. Either that or just stop streaming FIFA, which is what I don't want to do. See you, Ben. He had a little glance up and he found that bottom left beautifully. Eric Lamella. Kane. He's made sure more than most that they keep the ball. What would make it easier was if I just got FIFA on PC. And then I wouldn't need to worry about the Elgato delay. Because on my when I stream Football Manager, because I don't have to wait for the delay of the Elgato, because it's already on the PC, the delay's fine and it's in sync and everything's fine and dandy. It's only when I stream off stream console footage that I have issues. But it's only since I've got the Elgato that I'm having the issues. I didn't have them when I was streaming, like screen capping the uh, HD PVR2 footage. So I just wasn't going out of sync, whereas the Elgato is going out of sync. Right, time for a breakaway. Harry Kane's made a decent run, if I can find him. Oh, semi slow as shit. Oh, both in pace and in dribbling. A lump, slow as fuck. Thank you, Yannick. It's Ben Davies, whip it in. Harry, can you win the header? No. See you, Sir Alex. Very kind of you to take your time out of your hectic schedule. Oh, I, 
If I was to play on PC, I'd still use a controller. Because I haven't, I haven't played like I haven't gamed on PC with a keyboard and mouse in over a decade. I'd still play with a controller. Ah, oh, no! How has he beaten me to that? Well, I'm not going to sell my Xbox. Com just sell my Xbox because there's a lot of games that only come out on, that are like Xbox exclusive that I'd want to play. Plus, until this year, um, like the PC version of FIFA was completely different to the next-gen version of FIFA. Like on FIFA 14, the PC version of FIFA 14 was the same as 360, and then they brought out next-gen for FIFA 15 on PC. But I, what I don't know is whether it's... whether the delay thing is an issue with other games or whether it's just FIFA. I presume not, but I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to sell Harry Kane yet, Josh. I haven't decided. Yeah, but I, technically, but Football Manager isn't really gaming, is it? Like, as in actually having to control anything. It's no different to just browsing the internet when it, it, in terms of game mechanics. My other option is to try and figure out or to learn how to stream via the Elgato software. And I might have to do that during this week. Then hopefully that would counteract the um, the delay. But I don't know whether I can use all of my alert software with the Elgato uh, software. Like, can I still use uh, sub-alert with the Elgato? And have, like, the... Go on, Yannick. And have like the follower alerts and the donation alerts and the text on the bottom that scrolls across and stuff. Can I do that with the Elgato software or do I have to be streaming via something like OBS or XSplit to have that? Uh, I do play other games, Sam, but at the minute I don't have much, I barely have any spare time to play other games, which is why I started streaming, so that I could play other games rather than uh, FIFA and still be able to make content, because like, I spend all of my time, when I'm not streaming, all of my time is spent making FIFA content, legit, all of my time. at the top of the bar. I don't know who about who he is. Uh, and I also don't know you must have just like punched your keyboard when you were deciding your um, username as well. Oh come on Fikir. 
It's Pavlichenko as well, I didn't even realise. Up top for them. Nah, don't even think about it. Thank you, Eric. Why was that play to Harry Kane? It was clearly meant for my left back. That's a good ball. Full time. Uh, yeah, the the streams get uploaded onto um, my streams get uploaded onto YouTube, bro. Yeah. Pavlichenko is alright. He was good. He was okay in England, but he just never really properly took off, did he? Yeah, a lot of people had to stop playing, have stopped playing games and stopped watching YouTube videos because of exams, etc. I won't be able to see any of his stats though, KDMB. Because yeah, I've not scouted him. Nabil Bahui. I scout him, but I know nothing about him. Absolutely nothing. Oh, almost backed out then. <laughs> We're not going to be in a transfer window for uh, more than two months, so there's not really much point scouting people yet. I don't know. I've never played with Yusuf Paulson, so I don't really know whether he's overrated or not. I know Chani enjoyed playing with him. A lot, of, a lot of those youngsters get suggested in comment sections just because they grow quickly, not because they're good to play with, which is the frustrating thing. Everyone goes, buy this kid, buy that kid, buy this kid, buy that kid, and you buy them, and they're shit, but they only want you to buy them because they grow quickly, but they can't grow quickly if they're shit to play with and I don't get on with them, so I just avoid buying them. Like Vialba, everyone's like, buy Vialba, he's incredible. He's not incredible, he's just quick. There's a difference. And the thing I've found with players like Vialba, yeah, he's absolutely rapid, but I get him in front of goal and he'll miss. What's the point? Why not buy someone that has 84, 85 pace rather than 92, 93 pace and can put the ball in the back of the net? Someone that has 84, 
four eight five pace rather than ninety two ninety three pace and can put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, Embola was terrible. I just didn't enjoy playing with Embolo at all. Really hated playing with him at PSV. It always does this when you get to cup games. If you listen to the, the in-game audio, it's like second place to so-and-so will face second place. So, second place Tottenham Hotspur will place second place Bolton. Like, no, it won't. Because we're in a different competition. Little bugs like that really piss me off as well. You know what I mean? Right, let me just do one last before we head into the game. Although it will probably change again when we head into game. One last squad transfers office transfers squad central. And then we'll head into the game against Bolton. I'm slightly behind the gameplay, but whatever. It's better for me, my commentary, to be behind the gameplay than ahead of it. When is the next game after this one? Because I don't necessarily want to play a first team against Bolton if I've got a big game in the BPL coming up after this. Play Wednesday, we've got Aston Villa at the weekend. Oh, look at the fixture congestion, man. Tuesday, then Thursday, you are having a laugh. Doesn't matter when I play. Who I play, when I play. Players are going to be tired regardless, so much as well just play the games. Heskey's going to wreck me, is he? We'll find out. <laughs> it's oh, I didn't mind. We're now down to 16 clubs in the English League Cup, and some very good sides in it. I was slightly behind when before we came into the game, wasn't I? Let me unmute it again now. Instant replay, resume match. Instant replay, resume match. Instant replay, resume match. And I bet it it's even more out of sync than it was previously. Yeah, it's, it's changed around the other way. Now the gameplay is behind what I'm saying. <sighs> Fuck you, Elgato, and your stupid, stupid software that doesn't work properly. It's for recording videos, perfect. So much better than my PVR. Incredible. So much better than my PVR. But doing this streaming with it. Drive me mad. Driving me mad. I'm just going to have to buy uh, loads of different HDMI cables just to have both both pieces of uh, rec both recording devices plugged in at the same time if I can. Or I could just stop streaming FIFA. It's the other option.
but FIFA is what I'm known for and what gets me larger view counts so kind of can't stop can I Through the gap to Harry Kane, good first touch, terrible first touch. I hate Harry Kane on this game. Oh, all right. Adam Lafonge is going to win that header, is he? Okay. Hell, Danny Rose, his chest made out of metal. That was an incredible, heavily, incredibly heavy first touch. Oh, Harry Kane, wowzers. That was a decent effort, I'll give you that. Good save by Bogdan. What is that? It's just hit him on the toes and then he tries to head it while it's in mid-air when all I wanted him to do was play a through ball. Kane, will you just react and do something please? The thing that annoys me most about the whole audio sync thing is just the fact that it looks so unprofessional to have to consistently alter my settings live and then obviously the videos go on YouTube as well. That's what I hate about it the most. I hate the unprofessionalism of it. Ignore the boy, you stupid cunt. He's got himself back into this. Nice turn by Lamella there. That's a nice run. We'll try the finesse shot as well. Good save. Ericsson's there. Is he onside? He is. That's 1 1. Good.
Uh, this will go on YouTube next Saturday morning, Sam. Each stream goes up the morning of the next episode in that series. So obviously the next FIFA stream that I do will be next well, will be next Saturday. So it will go up Saturday morning. Uh, yeah, you basically hit the nail on the head there, Nathan. That is my tactic. Yes, Ericsson. Make me run, Harry. You just go stand there. <laughs> Harry Kane is so frustrating. Left foot, finish. Ref, thank you. Penalty, call. Cool. Yeah, he's the Balotelli of FIFA for me. You've hit, you've got that spot on, absolutely spot on. He's going to get the chance to score from the penalty spot, though. Oh, keeper nearly saved it as well. I think he's scored like seven or eight goals for me now this season and four have been penalties and two were rebound tap-ins. He just doesn't score from open play for me, not properly. Yes, Yannick. Yannick Kane. See the runner Lamella, we'll try and play him in. It's meant for Lamella, but it's going to make me run at it with Ericsson, so never mind. Stand the ball up, everybody misses it, never mind. Kick it straight at me if you like, mate, I don't mind. Go on, Harry, make me run. Good lad. First touch was first touch was terrible. Oh, that's actually a decent finish. I'll give him that. Well done. Good finish. Finish. Barry Bannon's got a good free kick on him. Although not this time. Oh, that was half time, was it? Okay. You can catch that if you want, Louise. Up you go. Good lad. Excuse me, Carl. I'd like the ball back. Go on, Yannick. Oh, Heidegger Johnson is just too good.
Oh, deflected. Good save. Uh, Mayweather won the boxing. I've got space to run into here, so I'm just going to keep running. And then we'll turn inside and take 15 years to take a first touch. If the ball, oh god, ball just bounced straight back to him. I've pressed. I'm telling Harry Kane to make runs, and he just stands there and looks at me like some sort of fucking donkey. That's a good corner, actually. Oh, good save, Adam, Bog Adam Bogdan. Could have picked that up, but decided to volley it instead. Never mind, fair play. Harry, use that electric pace, bruv. Sod's law, isn't it? I absolutely hammer the bastard, and he scores a hat trick. We are playing championship opposition though, so not really too much of a surprise. I don't know why my defence is sat so deep. We've got Martial on the bench. Dude, go on then, we'll bring him on. Give him a run out. Now that Harry Kane's actually got a hat trick. And from the Spurs sidelines, a substitute is going to come on. No, I was meant for Yannick Balassi. Oh, fuck. Well, that's uh, ref, thanks. Bloody hell. Definitely yellow card. Uh, I'm just going to dink it into the... Oh, no, he's going to tell the ball off first. Just going to dink the ball into the middle and see if someone can get on the end of it. Like that. And Eriksen's underneath it. I'm going to drop for him. Over there to Kabul. Go on, Jan. You've got a good left foot. Or you can hit it with your right. Either or. No, doesn't bother me. 4-1 up with 20 minutes to go against Championship Opposition. Probably going to get through to the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup, aren't we, really? Martial's looking to make the run, so we'll play him. Wrong decision, really. There's too many defenders there. Too many defenders. That's a good ball. Oh, that's an even better ball. Shame about the finish. Well done, Yannick. David Wheater on the edge of the box. Not going to volley that. He's offside. Slav ship. Uh, okay, my chair seems to have broken itself. It now won't. <laughs> it won't lean back. Oh well. <sighs> it's all going on tonight, isn't it? 
just sat here not moving <laughs> and my seat's broken. That's a free kick. We'll play on though. Let him Oh, I was gonna let him have the advantage, ref. Oh well. Got him, Martial. Off we go. Almost done now. Four one. Time ticking away. So we can think about what That's a nice change of direction and pace. Oh, see, that's what Harry Kane doesn't do. That's what I like. Someone with a bit of pace about them. Why are you doing this to me, chair? Someone with a bit of pace that could just dance around with good dribbling feet as well. Oh, never mind. Fuck it. Oh, Martial, he's off again. He's off again. Martial, oh, what a defensive block that was. Dembele, he's going to hit it from distance. 5-1 oh. up. I love a cheeky long shot. I couldn't say no, really. to get the ball off him. Might have had to push him to the floor to get it. But we got it nonetheless. Martial, it's a nice ball into Ericsson. Let's try a cheeky finesse out. Oh, that would have been a beauty. That would have been an absolute beauty. final whistle. I was going to say, what was that all about? It's just completely yanked him down. We're through quite convincingly to the quarterfinals. Who will play though? Either Swansea, Bournemouth, Villa, Newcastle, Man City, who scraped through on penalties against Barnsley, Arsenal, or Brighton, who knock out Premier League West Ham. English League Cup. Bolton Wanderers won. We weren't the only ones that were convincing though. Tournament prize money, brilliant. Tran additional transfer budget of four thousand pounds. Thanks, boys. Appreciate that. Has the draw been made yet? I presume it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Oh no, it has. We got Arsenal. Well, 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 well. Well, we'll advance as far as the Aston Villa game then and do a squad report because you guys wanted to see one of those before we ended. And obviously, the uh, the overalls will update when we get into the new month. So we'll do a quick squad report and then that will be the end of the stream, I'm afraid, guys. Again, like I said yesterday, I will try even uh, try all the other alternatives to try and sort out the whole mic audio lag thing. Whether I'll be able to do so or not, I don't know. Time will tell. But let's jump into the squad report, shall we? Hugh Clarice. It'd be nice if you grew a little bit more. 
Kai Walker's still the same. Kapoor's continuing to grow. Jan Vertonghen has started a couple of individual stats. I'd be, it'd be nice if he grew a little bit more, because I really like Jan Vertonghen. Danny Rose is up two. Dembele's homesick, apparently. If you say so. Belgium's only over there, bruv. Eric Lamella's up one. Yannick Balassi is up one. Ericsson up to 83. He can get up to like the late 80s, can't he? Uh, Harry Kane. Seven goals in eight games. Don't like Harry Kane. Fakir up one. DeAndre Yedlin up one. Martial, four and five for him. Uh, Shirishes growing in on an individual stat basis, but not... Overall, Ch uh, Chadley unfortunately still out for two months. I need to play Townsend more, although to be fair, it looks as if he's played enough games for me to start growing. KBP is growing as well. Bentaleb up one, Ben Davies up one, which is nice. Nice to see some growth from him. Eric Dyer isn't moving just yet. Be unhappy at the amount of uh, yeah games he's been playing, but I don't like Stambouli at all, to be honest. Uh, everybody else is going to be unhappy because they're not playing. Soldado's content, he's got 8 in 6, that's why I play Soldado over Harry Kane, because I enjoy playing with Soldado, I don't enjoy playing with Harry Kane. Uh, no movement for Vorm, Lennon, all the lone players are actually growing quite nicely, nobody up more than plus 1 though. But we are 3rd in the league, with a game in hand, and can close the gap to 2 points behind Chelsea, and close it to 3 points behind Man United, who currently are the only side in the entire league to remain undefeated after nine games. Fair play. We'll try and close them down. Obviously, we'll be back with FIFA uh, next weekend. During the week, we'll be back to Football Manager. And, of course, we are at uh, still at Arsenal and in the transfer window for that. So, of course, come back tomorrow for that if you're interested in Football Manager. And I am going to spend all week trying to figure out how to be able to stream FIFA properly without the stupid audio sync going out of delay or audio delay going out of sync anyway, thank you very much for watching guys appreciate you sticking with me again even though for the second night in a row it's been a disjointed stream but your support really does mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate it so thank you very much for being with me and I will see you tomorrow